Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Skyblock Episode 8. Um, I'm Santoys. Uh, thank you for checking out the video today. And uh, let's just jump right into things. So my plan for today, I think I mentioned in the last video, is I want to set up a gold farm. So I've got my inventory um, full of a lot of materials. I'm going to need to do that. And I'm going to come here and actually grab some bone meal because I'm going to use it to grow the weeping vines in the nether um, so that we can get down to void level and set up a really efficient farm down there. So I'm just going to make my way to the nether and, uh, you know, kind of get things started. Um, you know, for, for, for starting out, you know, we don't have hoppers yet. We don't have any redstone. Um, so we can, we can't really make a very like fast gold farm. Like it's going to be very manual. Um, but because of the extremely high rates we're going to get, um, at void level, like it's going to be, um, it should be great. Um, so hopefully that'll be good. I'm going to quickly slab this up just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to grab some of that nether rack. don't want to lose too much of it, um, but we should be pretty much good. And to get down to void level, what I'm going to have to do is set up like a little place to put the vines to grow down from. So I think I'll do that like here, I think will be good and then that will let me grow the vines um, down to void level and then we can use that to like actually set up the farm down there I guess while I do this I'm gonna be really careful I'm gonna put like everything in the chest except for um, like a few slabs and the vines just because I need all this stuff later and I don't want to um, have to go back and like get it again it's just such a hassle um let's see i'll just take half of them down for right now so we've got the vine we've got the bone meal and we've got the slab and i'll keep my armor on because i don't want the uh, piglins over there to aggro me but this should be good if i just bone meal this down really far um ideally it'll get to void level pretty quickly i don't know how much more we have to go for it to get down there um but i think that's probably almost there. I can't imagine it needs much more than that. Okay, so I, I think that's probably as far as we're gonna be able to get it to go. Um, so I'm gonna try and go down and place a slab and hopefully, oh, why is he attacking me? Okay, hold on. That's annoying. Uh, can we get him to aggro the piglin? That would be, the zombie piglin, that would be awesome. Okay, no. Get out of here. All right, there we go. That could have been bad. Um, I'll put this back. I'll just grab a few of these just to have some food, but now we should be good. Um, so if I go down to this vine column, hopefully we can see where the bottom is um, just because I don't want to fall into the void right now, but it's entirely possible that I will if I'm not careful. All right, we're pretty far down. I think the bottom is like right, right about here. And just, oh, okay, well, all right, well, that's why I didn't want to happen. Uh, so that's where the bottom was. <laughs> um, uh, good thing we have our bed to uh, respawn and good thing we did not uh, put everything in that chest down there. Or good thing that we didn't bring everything with us. All right, so that's unfortunate. Um, Gonna go and grab some uh, extra armor from the uh, mob farm. Losing the levels is is not too bad, you know. Like we can get it so quickly just from uh, the mob farm. Honestly, I don't really need too much armor anyways. I'll just throw the uh, gold chest plate should be enough for now, and then these golden boots I think. Um, but yeah, we can get armor again really quickly. Um, losing a few slabs not gonna hurt us. I think what I'll do this time is bring more vines so I can set up two vine layers. I think that may make it easier to get all the way down and I think that would be uh, more effective. So let me grab another vine. I think we have bone meal down there or in the nether already. So I'll just grab a few bone blocks just in case. And then let's go back to the nether and uh, see if we can actually get this done properly this time because that would be uh, really helpful. But yeah, it's unfortunate that we died, but it, uh, it doesn't bother me too much. 
um, since it's not hardcore or anything. So like we just respawn at our bed and we'll be okay. All right, so into the portal. Okay, so we're back in the nether. Just got to grab, we had 18, so I'll probably need more than that. Let's grab another piece of netherrack. We can use that to, like, I think go out, um, like, one more block, and then put the vine there, right? So if I do that, and then get bone meal from this, so I got way too much bone meal. If I get the bone meal from this and then just bone meal that all the way down, I think we'll be in much better shape. Uh, let's see, let's get a little bit more. It's probably all the way down. Uh, you know, let's just hope. Let's grab some slabs and then we can set up uh, a little spawning platform down there. We may want to pickaxe too, just in case I place one in the wrong spot. So I'll bring both. All right, so I just go down now. I'm falling. Okay. Oh, don't want to do that. This is like really, really risky. It's, it's very hard to uh, see like how far uh, I'm going each time I do this. Okay, that's, you know, we may not get all the way down, but that's pretty good in my opinion. Like, I think we were one away from void. Um, yeah, I think we'll stick with this. I don't know if this is a top or a bottom. Okay, it looks like it's a bottom slab, I think. Yeah, I think it's a bottom slab, so we should be good, actually. So now all I have to do is go out this way, and let's really quickly... Yeah, okay, so it is a bottom slab, and all I need to do now is go out like a good, decent amount of length this way, and then we'll set up the platform, but let's just um, get a safety area for us when we come down. Set up, I think that's probably the best move. Um, let's put like these around it, I think. And just that way, like when we're going down the vine, unless we go down straight through the middle, um, like we're not gonna just die. And actually, I think if I just put this there, yeah, we can just go straight back up. Okay, that's great. Um, and then that one too. Okay, cool. So now we have these vines, we can go back up. And we have like a little platform down here. So let's go get the rest of our materials. And we should be good to um, like chill down there and uh, start setting up our gold farm. All right, back up at the top. Let's grab uh, everything in the chest again. Super disorganized, you know, getting to grab everything back and put it in the inventory. But it's fine. Um, this doesn't need to be in our hotbar. These slabs, we got torches. We got some cobblestone fences. And we got some food. All right, so that should be a good start. I'll leave the bone meal up here. Um, but but everything else will take down to the void and start setting up our farm down there, which should be uh, be should be pretty good. I'm I'm pretty excited about it. And I, it looks like I went the wrong way. I think with the direction. I actually, it's fine. It's it's not gonna matter in the end. Um, so yeah, that should be fine. And uh, let's get all the way down there and set up the actual farm. So basically, what we need to do is set up a platform that A, um, allows us to spawn zombie pigmen, right? But B, also, like, is is spawn-proofed against um, Ghast and Endermen, because I don't want those spawning um, while I'm down here. And actually, I'm going to need to go spawn-proof that bridge um, after I set up this farm, because stuff could spawn out there and then really affect the spawn rates, which uh, would suck, because it doesn't look like it's quite far enough to despawn. But that's okay, because uh, we'll... Um, We'll, we'll set everything up. I think if I go any way, I should probably go this way instead of that way. Um, just because that's where the unspawn proof bridge is, and this is where we've got the uh, like bottom slab bridges. So we just got to go out about 30 ish blocks, I think. Um, a little more, a little less. You know, we just want to be out of the range that we can um, trigger the spawning of the, the zombie piglin on the um, spawning platform again once we get out there. So I'm just making my way um, across the void to get to a little spot where we can start like spawning stuff. And uh, that's probably good, I think. So let's go just a couple blocks more. All right, so this is kind of be like where we want to get 
the piglins to uh, drop to. I think what we're going to do is set up a block. Like, let's set this one to be the first layer of like the kill chamber, right? So they'll spawn here. They'll they'll like land here on this slab, and we can kill them there, I guess. So like. We'll put fences in front of this or something. I'll I'll figure it out kind of like once uh once it's a little more defined. But ideally, let's oh wait, we those are bottom slabs still. Okay, so this is the ones that they can't spawn on, which is what we want. Alright, so that's gonna be like our little our little collection area, and then we'll set up the actual spawning pad is gonna be right here. And let's make that like a little pathway to this, but it's not gonna be um too excessive or anything but yeah so this looks good i think we're gonna go um like a star shape but i'm like changing it a little bit just to make the entrance to the pad a little bit easier so that should be good there because then it's gonna be like this and that so i want to go seven blocks out from like a center block to make like an optimal place i'm just trying to figure out the uh Logistics, that's three blocks. Four, five, six, seven, and then we have our center block, and then we'll just mark that out with these. All right, so that should be what we're going to do with this to start with. And then let's get everything set up the right way. So basically, I want to go seven blocks out um, on every side, and then fill in all the areas in between, and then put a roof on top that prevents mobs from uh, spawning that are three blocks high, you know, so I don't want Endermen spawning down here and I don't want Ghasts spawning down here. Um, we can't clear out like the regular Piglins, but it shouldn't be too bad. The, their spawn numbers aren't as high as the zombie ones. So ideally we won't have to worry about too many of those spawning. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so seven there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. All right, there we go. And then just one more little pad here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so basically now all I have to do is fill in the diagonals, right? So I just have to go down like this and uh, fill that diagonal in and then just fill in this little gap in the center. And that's, uh, you know, the first part of this spawning pad done right in this area. So I'm just going to do this for all the other sides, and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when I have finished that up. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see how the platform is kind of laid out. Like, we've got this, you know, seven, like, point, like, er, like it's like 15 blocks um, in each direction, like, seven out from the center. Um, and this should be a, a plenty of space to spawn a couple uh, zombie pigmen, or zombie piglins, I guess, that they got changed to. Um, and then to like block them off and kind of corral them where I want, I want to set up these cobblestone fences like in the way of this like spawn area. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to mess this up and they're probably going to like kill me through the farm, but that's okay. Uh, and you know, it's, it could be worse. It's, it's, it's very low key at this point. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about things. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll make sure everything's safe. So let's see. I think that's going to be. Can they get on top of the fence from here? No, they can't. But let's just make it a little bit taller, just in case. Especially around the uh, front part. Don't want any, like, zombie pigmen just jumping up on here and then just destroying us. Like, that would be uh, really unfortunate. And then right on top of here, we're just going to put another layer of the bottom slabs because we just need to prevent spawns in this area. So if I just, okay, I'm gonna need more slabs than I have here. So I'll just go pretty much all my cobblestone into slabs. Um, I'll take the crafting table out for right now. And then all I should do is grab these, I'll use these spruce planks as like my temporary block, um, set it up there and go right on top of the fence here basically. I just wanna put a bottom slab and then bottom slab up the entire like spawning space, right? Because ghasts are what I don't want to spawn. Like Endermen would be fine, 
Um, but I really, really, really do not want to spawn ghasts because they will blow me up and they'll blow up the farm. And that's just, that's just not, you know, a good time, right? So everything we're going to do is just to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I'm going to outline the ring first and then I'm just going to fill in the inside. Um, and I'll get back to the recording once I get that done because it's, it's not super interesting. Okay, so it looks like uh, everything is kind of set up now. So hopefully if I uh, get rid of these torches and get myself a little escape from this area and then replace that uh, fence post, I think this should ideally start spawning stuff. I don't know if it's going to be as effective as I want it to, but let's um, you know, kind of test things out. I'm going to put these trap doors here as well, uh, just as like an emergency precaution, I think. Like I can open and close them if I need to. Like get close and then like do this. I I'll figure it out. Right, it should be fine though. Um, and let's get a little more space in this area, just in case stuff knocks me around or it is like gonna um, hit me or whatever. Right, I don't want that to um, affect the farm. And I brought a bunch of spruce wood for a reason because I want to be able to set up like additional like a chest down here for like extra stuff right so i'll just make a couple chests to set things up in the future right now you know um i don't have hoppers or anything to lead the uh, chests to but in the future right we can put uh like hoppers in these and then we can have the chest go in this like spot right here i guess so we just have that there we can uh, leave that one just by itself and then there. Okay, so yeah, in the future we just have the hoppers lead right into this chest here, and we can uh, fill that up with like goodies while we're down here so that we don't lose them in case the zombie piglins uh, bump into us or whatever. We should be fine just to hit them right from this spot there. So that should be good. And let's also put a trapdoor on top of the crafting table. That way mobs can't spawn on top of it, and we can like open it up, I guess. It's kind of cool. All right, so I think uh, the last thing I want to do is, like I said, set up a little bit more space for me to stand, and I'm just going to use more spruce wood for that. Unfortunately, it's not going to match with the uh, cobblestone, which is a little unfortunate just because uh, stylistically it looks not great, but what can you do? You know, you kind of need to work with what you got. I should have brought more cobblestone, but it's all good. Um, I think... It's a very minor thing in the grand scheme of things, and we can make things look good still. So, yeah, there we go. Now we got a little spruce, um, like, platform there, and let's run down to the end of the bridge. This should trigger the zombie pigmen to spawn. So if we go all the way down this way, and we look back, you can see that they are starting to spawn, and they're spawning really quickly, right? They just, you know, pop up pretty fast, and uh, they're going to fill up that platform, so once we get a good number of them starting to spawn, right? All we have to do is head on back over to the little platform we made, and hopefully they can't get to me from here, right? And so what I do is just open this trapdoor and shoot one of them with my bow, and they should all come running into this area, and I can just swing away at them, just like that. Oh, and the sound is uh, really horrible. <laughs> but yeah, there we go, you know, gold skin, the advancement, um, I don't know how we're going to get the golden nuggets super easily. It's going to be kind of hard just because of like how, how like intense they are. Like, I think we only can get them once they despawn. Maybe can we even we get close to, they just, yeah, they just attack us right away. So we can't get super close super easily, but we'll figure it out. Um, and if it comes close to the edge, right? Like we've already got two right in our inventory so let's let's heal up real quick um yeah these these trap doors will be able to like keep us safe i guess yeah i mean it's it's not super fast right but it's uh it's getting us gold we can get gold now which is uh pretty much exactly what i wanted and then the only thing i will need to do in the future is uh like actually get a way to get the golden gets or the gold nuggets excuse me uh, more effectively, because right now it is kind of hard. Oh, and I accidentally aggroed the uh, piglin under there. Oh, and they steal the gold too. That's annoying. Okay. 
but actually they aren't as dangerous as the zombie pigmen, so I can just get it once uh, once they die. All right, cool. Yeah, that works. All right. So once we get hoppers and uh, stuff, we can use like soul campfires and things to actually just like kill the pigmen immediately, I think, or, or some type of campfire. I'm not sure. And we got two gold ingots right away, 31 gold nuggets. Let's pop those right in the chest and uh, let's go trigger some more spawns and see how much gold we can get. Um, it, yeah, as you can see, like this farm is, it's really simple. And uh, because, you know, we're at the void, we just get a ton of spawns super quickly, which is uh, pretty much everything we want. So I'm, uh, I'm really excited about that. Yeah, the uh, this farm is, it's great, you know, um, the sound of it is, is horrible. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud on the recording. I try to make sure my volume's uh, not too high, but uh, it's, it's rough. Um, there's a lot of chaotic noises of zombie piglins. And uh, if I get too close, they just smack me, which is really unfortunate. Um, in the future, I'll get you know better armor and stuff, and uh, hopefully they'll make this a little less dangerous. And I guess while I'm here, um, I may as well go to the Nether Fortress and see if we can get a couple blazes to spawn and get some blaze rods because that would be really good too. Um, or you know, brewing the potions of weakness. So I'm just going to keep using gold swords, and I, you know, I'll get back to the recording once I've uh, kind of exhausted my supply of swords. Um, I won't bore you guys with too much more uh, zombie pigment farming. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys then. All right, everyone. So we're back, and uh, you know I didn't want to spend too long down at the gold farm, um, but I ended up getting, we've got 11 ingots total now. Um, so you know that's enough for one golden apple, so we can start you know curing one of the zombie villagers um, as soon as we get some blaze rods, which is awesome. Um, we'll have to get them into a, a villager breeder um, first, obviously, to really use them. Um, but we can set that up kind of like somewhere up here, over there maybe. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure that out. And I think what I'll do now is head to the nether fortress and see if we can kill some blazes. But before I do that, I'm going to be a little bit greedy and treat myself to using one of the iron ingots to make a shield. Um, because that's going to be really useful. Um, if blazes, you know, start attacking us or if we face wither skeletons and all that, um, which I don't want to deal with without a shield, it's, uh, it's going to be really useful. So I definitely want to make sure I have that to uh, protect myself and, um, put this wood back, put the weeping vine back. Just want to make sure I don't bring anything too unnecessary with me. Um, if I go to that nether fortress and try and, uh, kill some blazes, but also, I do not want to forget getting some cobblestone to block up some of the walls. I'm going to have to uh, get some more soon because I'm definitely running out, uh, which is unfortunate. But let's go back to the nether and see if we can't find a few blazes in that nether forge. I may have to, um, you know, get rid of that glowstone or at least block it up. Uh, just so stuff can't spawn down there or stuff can spawn in that nether fortress, but uh, we'll figure it out. So... Hopefully we can get just two blaze rods is all we need, I think. Uh, one for the stand and one to brew the potions. And I also I completely forgot, I should, I really, really, really should uh, slab up this bridge because it's just so dangerous. I was gonna, and then I realized it was not worth it for right now. Let's just go to the fortress and see if we can get something to spawn. Um, I'm hoping that we don't get jumped by a uh, blaze or a wither skeleton. That'd just be so unfortunate. I don't want to deal with that right now at all. Uh, let's get a crafting table to make like a wall or something. All right, so it doesn't look like anything has uh, spawned yet, which is good. But let's get a layer of, let's make this like our entrance, I guess. So this will be safe from any creepy crawlies getting through and then we can make this like kind of where we walk in so that's a top slab there put a torch on it and then we can just box this all up with cobblestone and i'm gonna have to get the sides too just in case um if i, if I knock it off the sides i don't want it to uh, fall into the void so that i can just use 
one layer because I really just want the main layer to protect me if I need to go outside of it, but the side layer I just want to stop blazes from uh, passing through if they spawn up here, so this should be fine if I just have it like that. So these are all bottom slabs is what I learned, uh, meaning that stuff isn't going to spawn down here. Or, well, it spawns here because the, uh, the light levels aren't high enough. Yeah, I'm just I'm just talking at this point. What I mean to say is it can't spawn down here because of the high enough light levels, and then they can't spawn on the top layer because of the bottom slabs. That's what I was trying to say. So let's go ahead and quickly put cobblestone down here, and then I don't want to break this glowstone right away because I want it for later, but I guess it probably doesn't matter too much, so we're just going to um, just get the glowstone out of here. And uh, actually, you leave this for more spawning area, I think, is probably um, the best move. I want to make sure wither skeletons can't come up this staircase, but I can. I think this is okay, actually. I don't think they can cross this boundary there. I don't think they'll be able to. But if I put uh, slabs, that may make it a little bit safer. Hold on. Because I can duck under that and then duck under it on the way up, but wither skeletons can't. I think. Yeah. All right. That's probably the safest way to do this. And then let's make this um, slabbed up there. Okay. And then we'll put a few more slabs here. And we'll make sure all of them are bottom slabs. That's a top slab. It's a bottom slab. This is a top slab, and that should be a bottom slab, I believe. Cool. So that should be all safe and sound. And let's. As always, expand this. Yeah, I'm trying to be super careful because this is an easy place for me to die. Um, just because blazes and wither skeletons are really dangerous. And uh, they'll definitely cause us some problems, I am sure. But hopefully nothing too crazy. Let's put a crafting table down just so we have that available. Put the slab on top. Now we can uh, have all this crafting if we need to make a new sword or something, right? So that should be good. Yeah, it looks like there's already a blaze in there with uh, some zombie pigmen. So not, um, yeah, there's a blaze back there and we'll just kind of be a little bit to the side just so they don't notice us. We can grab ourselves a new pickaxe because we're gonna need that in the future anyways. Didn't mean to pause. All right, so I wanna hit the blaze without killing the pigmen, which is going to be hard because they're really just right in the way. Yep, all right, see, I screwed up, but I'm glad because we realized that this is a danger. It's okay. All right, yeah, so I got to clear these guys out now so I can get back to that blaze. Um, oh, never mind. Okay, so I got a blaze rod, like, literally right away, which is awesome. Um, did not expect that. Well, um, that's really good. There are more zombie pigmen down here, but he can't get through because I made the little barrier. So let's clear this guy out. And we just need one more blaze rod now, um, which was, did not expect it to happen that fast. Um, but I will still, you know, get back to everything once I uh, get the next one because don't want to make you guys sit through me um, killing a million blazes. All right, so I uh, died. I should have expected that, but uh, hopefully most of my stuff is still in the uh, nether. Um, yeah, that was not my best idea. I probably should have closed up the uh, gaps in the um, like side of the the, uh, the wall a little bit better, but oh well. Um, I, you know, we're not dead permanently, um, and we still have the blaze rod. I did put it back in the... Uh, other chest before I um, died. So I'm just going to quickly get set up again because I have no cobblestone now. Um, but once I get back everything set up, um, I'll go back to the nether and keep killing blazes. Just want to show, show you guys that like I died and, uh, you know, that happened. So, yeah. All right. So we got more blaze rods like pretty much right away. One here and then uh, I think I picked the other one up. Yeah. Okay. I already picked the other one up. And there's only one more blaze. He's just chilling uh, down there. And I got pretty much all of my stuff back. I think 
the shield is unfortunately gone, which uh, really sucks because that's like the one thing I didn't want to lose. Um, but I actually got another iron ingot from the mob farm because I got another um, bow and all that. So, you know, ended up being okay in there. Um, and we'll just kill this last blaze. See if we can get one more blaze rod. You know, that'd be always good. Having a little extra stuff. And, oh yeah, he, he dropped an extra blaze rod. All right. Let's kill this wither skeleton too. See if we can get a skull. No, nope, just some coal. But, you know, that's okay too, right? Um, let's clear out these zombie pigmen. And uh, we, I think that's probably everything. I don't think there's more down here. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's extra gold. We got four whole blaze rods now, which is a lot. Um, that's really good for the future. Let's put that cobblestone there to make it easier to approach next time. And uh, let's head on back to the main island and uh, wrap things up for today's episode because that is pretty much exactly what I wanted to get done. And I think next episode... Um, I will try and make the villager breeder where we're going to put the villagers and then I'll work on moving the zombie villagers to that spot somehow. It's going to be kind of tricky, I think, um, but I'll figure it out and then we can set up an iron farm and all sorts of good stuff. And uh, I'm really excited about that. Let's grab these. Can't forget that. All right. So let's head back over to the overworld, um, get the gold in the chest, get the blaze rods in the chest and uh, I'll wrap up the episode. Oh, I would just realized another unfortunate thing is that we lost all of the glowstone. Um, so that's really sad. But I think we can get it back from clerics or something in the future. It should be okay. We can Once we get villager trading, um, I think it'll be all, all fixed and all that. So not too worried about it. But look at that. We ended up with 12 gold and uh, 4 blaze rods, which is exceptional. Um, they dropped really quickly, which I'm really glad about. And I think we need... Just three cobblestone and a blaze rods to uh, set up our brewing stand. Let's actually get that built just so we can have it um, all squared away. Boom, there we go, brewing stand. And let's put that, uh, you know, we'll put it right out here near the uh, nether wart, I guess, for right now. And uh, yeah, now we got brewing. So we can um, get some zombie villagers cured when I want to. We can brew those uh, potions of weakness get some villagers and uh, start doing villager trading. And that's going to let us get all sorts of stuff um, and get armor, weapons, um, better food, uh, redstone, I think. So, so yeah, um, I think I'll wrap up the episode here. Um, thank you guys so much for uh, checking out this video today. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe, you know, give me some, some comments, suggestions. Um, I really appreciate uh, all of that. Uh, as always, I'm Santoyce. I, I really thank you guys for uh, checking out this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time in uh, episode 9. Thank you guys so much.